Hello, welcome to this video. Today, I asked a girl out at the gym. Um, I realized that, I'm gonna circle back to that. <laughs> I realized that I am just feeling with, dealing with a bunch of fear energy that I'm going through some deep solar plexus, sacral, and root chakra healing. My awakening has been very top down. So I'm really getting into the lower chakras now when it comes to healing. And so life is bringing forward all these kind of like deep repressed fears of survival. Um, like a lot of these lack programs, a lot of feelings of powerlessness, my neediness, codependency, like all of these like really lower chakra type of wounds are coming up and that's why my life is looking the way it is and so i just i woke up this morning with like so much density just flooded in density and like every morning this is my eighth straight day of doing this spiritual warriors day of meditating every day for two hours and yoga for 45 minutes it's creating a whole new momentum in my life i love it I break the meditations up one hour in the morning, one hour later in the day in the evening. So when I was doing my meditation this morning, I realized that this density was like fear, like like my circumstances have provoked like this survival fear, like am I gonna make it type of fear. The fear of abandonment and not having enough, just a lot of these root chakra stuff, like that safety and security feeling. And I realized like it's so dense because it's it's the lower chakras. They're they're the less refined centers, right? They're the densest uh, energy centers in our body. At least that's how it feels to me experientially. And so as is like as I was feeling through this density, I just realized this is just fear. I was like, this is just like lots and lots of fear. And and I, and I was like, okay, what does this fear need? Like, what, do, what is something that I'm not, what is an action maybe that I'm not taking that would be helpful? And I realized like the body's holding fear. We need to, we need to move the energy like this. We need to like, if we're feeling powerless, overwhelmed, unsafe, if life is triggering up those wounds for us, the way to heal the root chakra, the sacral and the solar plexus is empowered movement. That's one of the most basic and powerful ways or potent ways to, to heal this like disempowered energy that's surfacing. I felt like this morning so much uh, fear energy. It was like thawing in my field, in my body. So much fear stuck energy in the lower chakras. That's always been there. That's always kept me small. That's always kept me terrified of life, other people, experiences of expansion. It's like those energies, because I've been dropped into this to the middle of the city with no money, no car, basically no resources, going into a little bit of debt for the first time in my life. It's like triggering up these like really base deep primal fears of survival and like i said and 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 i'm just feeling like how these energies as they get freed up in my field and they're so dense and heavy and i'm just like what am i in like i just felt so like oh this morning i felt like okay what's needed here what am i not doing like i can sit in meditation for hours right and good job for me. That's amazing. That's a strength. Meditation, I feel, will always be the cornerstone of my spiritual practice. But I was asking myself, what, what needs to happen differently? Um, and I just felt into empowered movement. And this energy wants to move. It wants to like change shape. It, this energy has been sitting in my body like in this powerless, weak, weak, not in a negative way, but just like this, ugh, like this like this shape of I give up, I can't do it. I'm, I need someone to someone save me. Someone do, you know what I mean? Like this disempowered energy, I could feel it asking to change shape and just sitting and sitting and sitting with it while very helpful for a while. At a certain point, it wasn't like doing it fully for me. 
So I was like, I, I tapped into something and I just felt like how there's so much energy in my body, more energy. It just was, it's just dense energy. I was like, I'm just going to go to the fucking, I'm going to walk a mile and a half to this weight room. And I'm going to lift some fucking weights and like set myself free and let this energy change shape and let it start feeling like this flow of empowerment and, and, um, potency and like the connecting with this masculine energy, right? I'm so gifted. I'm, it's so, um, easy. I could say it's, it's just natural for me to connect to the divine feminine within. It's like when the Kundalini wakes up and we give ourselves to that energy, that's really what happens. Like this, the state of allowing starts deepening in our being. And that's beautiful. That's critical for awakening. But I've noticed that this energy, the stagnant energy, I've had so much stagnant fear energy, lack energy, um, this, this stagnant energy of unsafe as this stagnant energy thaws and, and starts, you know, coming up to the surface and into my awareness, I've realized that connecting with masculine movement, like powerful movement is so fucking healing. It's so cathartic. It helps this energy like transform to alchemize and so we want to have both we want to have that allowing nature that receptive nature the nature of flow the nature of being able just to sit with certain feelings and to love them unconditionally but we but i am finding for myself tapping into that masculine movement of of really just powerful movement, empowering movement, moving the body. It's like we're healing the body here. It's like we're already source energy. We're already fully healed, right? We're just, we're coming into these animal bodies as descending into them as angels and upgrading them. Like we're already it. It's just, we're, we're in the body, like healing the body with our light codes, with our grace, um, with our angelic nature. It's like, we're already fully healed. We're just in these animal bodies that are not healed. These animal bodies with <laughs> generations of trauma. And, and we got to work with the body. It's like, we can sit in Lotus pose as this beautiful angel for, for as long as we want. But sometimes the body is like, Hey, I need more engagement here. And so I went and I just, I just fucking was just ripping the, was just pumping weights, you know? And it felt so good. And, and I just was feeling high as fuck. I was like, oh my God, all this, all that density was just a lot of energy that needed to move, that needed empowerment, that needed like to, it was like begging to change shape. And I just, I just felt like sitting there with it forever while incredibly helpful to do every day. It was like, it needed, there needed to be another type of inner, um, movement. And so, yeah, I went and lifted weights and once I realized it was fear energy that I was working with, just a lot of dense fear energy, just like, like I said, mine was very top down, my Kundalini. And so it's like the most refined is up here, you know, the most refined energy. And then you get into the less refined energy, the more gross energy, dense energy down in the lower chakras, which obviously makes sense. Because if you ever do meditation and you feel the, the grace from below you, you feel the grace emanating upwards from Gaia, it has a solidity to it, like a density to it. While the grace that descends into the crown is very light, it's very like this, uh, very ethereal. And, and so that's what I realized is I was, I'm just working with fear energy just in a denser nature than I'm used to, a denser shape than I'm used to. Um, so once I recognized that, I'm like, well, let's, let's walk towards fear all day. So that's basically what I did. I just like went into the weight room and let, let energy move. And I saw this beautiful woman and I was like, Ooh, that is, it's like, that's a place to like an opportunity to move into my fear. I felt a little fear in my stomach when I considered like going up and asking her out. And I was like, you know that, and, and it's interesting. I used to go up and in my twenties, uh, I used to like follow pickup artists, um, material. It just helped me get like better with so social skills. And, um, it was like, uh, it was my means of growing was like in my twenties was like approaching women and it helped me face rejection. And it, it was like a really empowering thing for me back then. But when I did it, I, I was doing it with a sense of pressure. Like I needed something from the women. Like I needed 
to me, sex, sex was the only way I knew how to like receive love. That was the only portal that I was aware of. It was the only way I could tap into to like, to, it was the only way I knew how to like receive love from anyone was just sex. You know, I was obviously really wounded. Um, and it was the only way I like could derive any sense of self, um, worth was from, um, having sex with uh, a desirable woman. And, and so I, I remember my twenties approaching how there was all this pressure. I was terrified because, because it was like, it meant so much to me, you know, it's like, I needed something from her. I didn't feel whole and complete on my own. So it was a lot of times like I want, I was trying to extract something, right? And that's when we're doing that from a wounded place, but it was helpful for me because I learned a lot. Um, it was actually, I was looking back on it. I've always been on this like really fast track of evolution and growth. Like I've always been on this like really intense trajectory of growth, even before Kundalini. And this was one of the ways that I was able to tap into that really helped me, um, learn about myself. You can really learn about yourself a lot through approaching someone you're attracted to and asking them out. I mean, you're going to feel a lot. You're going to feel any shame, any, anything that comes up, like, so many of us have shame about, I'm attracted to that person. I'd like to talk to them. Like, why can't it just be that simple? But we have all this built in shame. Like, I can't do that. Oh no. What if, what if they reject me? What if someone sees that they reject me? What we have, the mind will go crazy projecting all of these things that might happen. And I mean, it's just like to preserve itself in this whole psychological construct it's created for itself. It's a whole other thing. But it's so interesting how just that simple act, there's so much shame and guilt around in our society. And so unlike in my 20s, today, as I um, was feeling into approaching that, that woman at the gym, I realized as I was approaching her to ask her out, um, I didn't need anything from her. And my mind before I did it said, oh, this is going to be this big thing. And it was still doing that loop, but I, I didn't believe it as much because I, was, I wasn't really feeling afraid of doing it, which was odd. And, and the thing was, what actually inspired me to do it was like, oh, I want to walk towards my fear today. I have fear in my body. Let's alchemize this. Let's move. Let's expand, you know, like let's find the border. Like let's find where our fear starts and let's just like blast through that fucking wall, you know, like let's blast through that force field of fear that keeps us all small, right? I was like, where can I blast through a force field of fear. Ooh, the most beautiful woman in this whole gym. Um, subjectively, that, that can be different for everyone, right? That's so subjective based on who you, you're oriented, like what you're oriented to be attracted to. I'm like, I felt like that's a force field of fear that I can just burst through. What an opportunity. So I approached her today, not as like, uh, I need it. I was just like, ooh, this looks like, I approached it as a, this could be a very powerful spiritual experience. I approached her to feel how the fear in my body would move, to feel like what would happen. It was like an experiment, no expectations. I really didn't have any intention of trying to like get a, get her to do anything. I was just like, I'm just going to approach her, um, just see what happens within me. It was like a, it was like a meditation almost. Right. And, and so my mind, of course, still, I think even masters talk about this, how their minds even will still try to talk them out of what's true. My mind still was like trying to like not was trying to give me all the ras rationalizations and justifications for not doing it. Like she's just, oh, she's not your type. She's not that attractive anyways. Oh, she definitely has uh, a boyfriend. She, all these reasons. Like you can't ask someone out at the gym. Like so just all this silly nonsense. But it was funny, like my body just was like walking towards her. Once I decided, uh, yeah, I'm just going to approach her, see what happens, um, see what I feel within. It was hilarious how my body just started moving towards her to do it. And my mind was like, oh, fuck, the body's just going to do it. Even if I'm telling it no, even if I'm screaming at it and not to, the mind is like submitted and realized, oh, fuck, I'm not in control. Like my spirit, my body that wanted to work through some things and have an experience at the edge of its fear, at the edge of its evolutionary, like at, at its evolutionary edge, my body is like now leading the way, which was a cool thing I realized as it was happening, as I was walking over to her and I was realizing, oh, we're gonna, we're actually gonna do this. We're not just gonna like 
walk past her or bail out at the last second, I realized, no, we're actually doing this. And even though my mind's trying to talk me out of it, and it was just like, oh shit, okay, it's happening. And yeah, I just walked up to her and it was like, not as much fear as I thought. <laughs> I thought I'd be like, ah, but I, I, I recognized I've done so much work. I've come on YouTube, like in front of you guys and anyone who wants to see, like totally bare, oh, so much, so many times, totally just authentic and vulnerable. And I realized like all that work it has its rewards because as I walked up to her, I was like, oh, I'm not that afraid. This isn't that big a deal at all, actually. This is this is not what the mind thought it would be. It's like I've met my, I've walked up to fear so many times and like burst through force fields of fear within me so many times. It was just like, oh, this isn't even as scary as going live on YouTube. It's actually not. It wasn't. Um, and you could tell she was like thrilled that I approached her and it was a cool exchange. Um, she did have a boyfriend or she said she was just telling me she did. I, I, I sensed that it was genuine. Either way, it's fine. Um, and it was cool. I like I like told her why I walked up to her and like how I was like working through like fear. And it was like this really uh, vulnerable, authentic exchange. And it was like improved both of our days. I could tell like it was a lift for her. She felt... Um, just flooded with like, oh, cool. Like it was heart opening. It was just heart opening. It was great. And, and I got to learn like, oh, that wasn't that scary. I'm actually way more free than I thought I was. My mind's not usually ever right about things like that. It was not weird. Um, nothing. <laughs> it was just like the simplest thing. I was like, oh, that was just like fucking nothing. And that's what happens when you walk towards the force field of your fear. You realize it's fucking nothing. It's nothing. You just have to do it. You just have to not listen to your mind and let your body lead. And so that alchemized some fear. Um, and I realized in the gym how I was just like really myself. I was felt like I was alone in there, but it was like this huge gym in Scottsdale with lots of people. Um, and I was just kind of like dancing, doing my own thing as if I was the only one there because I feel so free to be me everywhere now and it's so nice and so being in the gym today was like very validating of all the work I've done and it was also really fun because I got to like walk towards a threshold of fear um and I got to move the body and and that was my favorite thing was like the weights and just how good my body felt and that density was just alchemizing and transforming in real time and I went from feeling so powerless and weak and just just like kind of low and heavy to like being on top of the world. Like, like I said, dancing, just feeling like really, um, centered and aligned and in my truth and, and fearless like that, that fear energy, when we meet it, when we, when we just burst through those force fields of fear, we become more fearless. We become more free. We become more open. Um, and that's what happened for me today. And so that's what I'm doing, working through some lower chakra wounds, some deep wounds. I've been having sessions around the clock with this one, with myself, so much, so much inner work going on for me right now. It's been so crazy going out with a bang here in 2021. It's massive. It's massive. The wounds I feel like we're, we're tapping into and healing and integrating. And so play with your fear, go to your edge of your fear, go to where the force field of your fear is and, and go there and see what, see what happens as an experiment. You know, it, it's no, there's no, like, we don't want to, there's no winning or losing in this. It's just like, just go have the experience. It doesn't matter what happens. It's like the experience is the thing. That's, it doesn't matter if this girl says yes or no, or whatever your thing is. It's just like you did the thing and you got to feel through it and you got to learn about yourself and you got to be feel more liberated. You got to become more who you really are. And so now I'm at that edge and now I'm like, well, that was nothing. Like, what's the next edge, right? And it's just like, I'm now I'm like kind of looking, what's my next, you know, f fear force field edge, you could say. And we just kind of keep looking for that. And we just keep expanding, keep becoming more free, um, more big, you could say, more open and yeah more authentic so hope this video is inspiring thank you for being here i will put links to book a session with me if that is something that resonates and you're pulled to do 
I will also put a link to donate and a link for my Patreon channel. Join the Patreon family if you uh, feel guided to do that. Uh, I've <laughs> put some really fucking vulnerable recordings on there. Um, I think you guys might uh, resonate with those quite a bit. So yeah, it would mean a lot to me if um, you join the Patreon family as well. So much love. See you in the next video. Namaste.